Hello, this is Alexander Cross, Criminal Defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area. If you'd like to learn more about criminal defense, feel free to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and make sure to ask questions in the comments section below. So we received an interesting inquiry here on our YouTube channel. This has to do with somebody who uh, knocked somebody out in self-defense. Criminal attorney, criminal attorneys, attorney, self-defense attorney, assault attorney. Let's see here. One day I was assaulted by two people wanting to take the keys out of my car. I pulled out a bat and left one guy unconscious. The other guy ran and called the police and I was arrested. Well, first of all, let's talk about these two people. If they, in fact, um, were trying to yank the keys out of your car and you were struggling, well, that's an attempted carjacking. This would be, an, this would be a violation under Penal Code Section 215 slash 664, which carries up to four and a half years of state prison. Now, if these two guys obviously did this in concert, well, this is a conspiracy as well under Penal Code Section 182, which carries up to three years state prison. Now, if you're being attacked by these two guys, you have the right to use the minimal force necessary to stop the attack. Now, you're being attacked. You don't know. Your life could very well be in danger. They're desperately trying to take your car, your keys. It's a violent offense because it's the robbery of your car, essentially, which, which is what carjacking would be. And, uh, yeah, you would have the right to defend yourself, including using lethal force if you deem necessary. And I think considering that there are two guys that are attacking you, I think it's pretty reasonable that if there, if there happens to be that, if there happens to be a bat right there and you grab it and you swing it and hit one of them, yeah, there shouldn't be a problem. The issue comes is if you knock one of them out and then while they're knocked out, you keep hitting them with a the bat. Now you have a little bit of a problem. But if you knock one of them out, you know, I think this is going to be a situation where you're really going to have to speak to your attorney about what happened so that your attorney can convey the information to the district attorney's office because I think this seems to be a very clear case of self-defense. You shouldn't have to be convicted of, you know, assaulting somebody with a deadly weapon being a bat under Penal Code Section 245, uh, parentheses A, parentheses 1, which would normally take, uh, which is normally punishable for up to four years state prison. But no, in this situation, seeing that you were being attacked, I think you were in 100% in your right to be able to uh, defend yourself. Regardless, if you'd like to learn more about criminal defense here in the San Francisco Bay Area, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Law Offices of Cross and Associates, and feel free to ask questions in the comments section below so that we may respond in the future with more videos. But if you've been accused of a crime and need representation in court, call us now for a free consultation at 1-800-862-7677. On our next video, we're going to be discussing the case of somebody who uh, went into a store and stole some items. Criminal attorney, attorney, criminal lawyer, lawyer.